Apple is about to knock it out of the park once again with their new event focused on brand new M4 Max. And in this video, I'm gonna let you guys know when that event is going to happen, which models are going to come out along with additional devices and some of the best features that are gonna make this M4 launch one of the best Mac launches in years. I think probably the best one since the original M1s came out and changed the whole computing world. Now we already know that Apple is manufacturing new Macs as of last month. These things are being made and getting ready for you to buy them. But there are gonna be a few other devices that are going to be launching. And the first one is going to be the iPad mini. Now this is a little bit weird because typically the iPad mini comes out at the same time as the iPhones and this has actually been stocked up and made for months now. But I think the reason they didn't release it at the iPhone event is because so much of that event was packed with Apple intelligence features being reiterated from WWDC because not a lot of people watch that unless you're a diehard tech fan. Now, I don't know about you, but I really like the iPad mini. They're great for a lot of reasons. And this update isn't gonna be massive. We are gonna get better cameras, which the ones in there are fairly old. As always, we are gonna get a new chip inside of there. We'll see if that's gonna be an A17 Pro or maybe an A18, just like in the iPhones that are going to launch. Now, along with that, we have reports that's not just gonna be one iPad, so it looks like we're gonna get an update to the regular iPad, which now the cheapest iPad is that new redesigned iPad 10, so that's gonna get a better chip, not a huge deal, but that's gonna be packed in the event. But what I am more excited about are the M for Max. Now, before I get into the specifics of the Max, I want to talk about when they are going to come out, and it looks like it is going to be October. A lot of times we had November Mac events, but it looks like this year it's going to get combined, and last year we actually had a Mac event at the end of October. So Mark Gurman, who is very accurate, um, he reported that it's going to be an October event for both the Macs and the iPads. I'm thinking it is going to be once again towards the end of October. Uh, and it's not just gonna be a base level launch, it's gonna be with the M4 Pro and the M4 Max as well. Now, no matter if you're getting one of these new Macs or sticking with the one you have, you need our sponsor, Clean My Mac X, to make sure your Mac is running tip top. It's vacation season, and while you're resting to get back to optimal performance, let your Mac get a well-deserved Maccation with the Clean My Mac X's menu app. I use Clean My Mac X's new menu app dashboard daily because not only can I monitor every aspect of my Mac's performance, but I can easily optimize it as well. The battery monitor will show me how long I have until it's fully charged, as well as battery health, temperature, and charging cycles. I love the memory tab because I can see how much RAM is available and I can quickly free up memory with just a click to get the best performance. The CPU tab shows me the temperature as well as CPU load, and this is great for many reasons, including seeing if a background task is stealing your performance. And there is so much more, including real-time malware protection. So let your Mac finally get a vacation. Check the link in the description below for a seven-day free trial and use my promo code MAXTECH20 for getting 20% off. Let's go over which Macs are gonna be launching and then I'll let you know about the top exciting updates that I cannot wait for. The first Mac that's gonna launch is the 24-inch iMac. And honestly, this is the one that I'm least excited about. I mean, it's nice to have an all-in-one computer with good speed good display for a good price and now with the M4 chip, uh, but you guys let me know how much you care about that. The next one is going to be the Mac Mini. Now, right now we have an M2 Mac Mini, it did not get the M3 chip, and we've had this design for over a decade, and for the first time in a long time, it is going to be redesigned, and it's gonna be much smaller, but it's still gonna keep the internal power supply, which is great. Now, there are people that made some renders about it, but we now have more information, which honestly, I think, is great. The one thing that some people might not be happy about is that we are no longer going to have the regular USB ports. 
The good thing is that Apple will be making up for this by adding additional USB Type-C ports. So we should have a total of five of them. So that is great. With those, you can output a video signal. Um, you could do a lot of things with the Thunderbolt. You can have a dock connected to it. So they're a lot more powerful. And one interesting thing is there is at least one version that has two USB ports on the front. Think like the Mac Studio. And I think that is awesome because it's a pain to go to the back to have to plug things in if you have it neatly set up. So being able to have quick access is great. Now this should have the M4 Pro as well. So there is a chance that those front ports might only come on the M4 Pro version. I hope that is not the case. Hopefully it comes on both. Maybe Thunderbolt on the front will just be the M4 Pro, like the studio where you get Thunderbolt on the front if you have the Ultra version because of its better um, chip that it's inside of there. Um, but I think that is awesome. And I would love to see an SD card on the front as well. But maybe with these new chips, that would just take away from the Mac Studio. Thankfully, it looks like we are still gonna keep the physical ethernet port along with the HDMI and the audio jack. So they're not gonna get rid of those in this, this slim version. And we will see what happens in terms of pricing. Now with that, of course, we are going to get MacBook Pros. We are gonna get multiple versions. And the thing that I'm most excited about is the base 14 inch MacBook Pro. That's gonna get the M4 chip and the performance of the M4, at least the unbin version, actually beats out our M1 Max. They used to pay $3,500 for. So you get so much performance packed in to this budget device. And another thing that we're gonna get fixed is the fact that you will have a USB Type-C Thunderbolt port on the right hand side because the M4 chip now has a new video engine. So you can basically have more outputs. It should fix the issue where you have your screen open and you're only able to have one external display. They're beefing it up. And we even see on the newly released um, A18 Pro, that is the video engine that's basically doubled the performance. So that's gonna make it more powerful. And I think this is gonna be a great computer along with one extra upgrade that I'll talk about in a sec. But I also wanna mention the M4 Pro and the M4 Max these things are gonna be incredible. When we looked at the M1 Max, when that came out, then we had the M2 chips. It was a decent upgrade, pretty much overclocked, wasn't a great upgrade. M3 had much better graphics, had some updates, but the M4 chip, even with the base, is the biggest jump because we have not only better performance, it uses less power, which also means less heat, it is the nicest jump from generation that we have seen. And of course, compared to the iPad, which is super thin, which doesn't have a fan, these machines will be able to um, just use it a lot better. You get better sustained performance. They can maybe clock them up a little bit higher. So that is gonna be fantastic. And you don't have to buy the highest one because the performance has gotten so dang good. But the reason that I'm very excited about these systems, and it's more on the base systems, is that Apple is going to be making 16 gigs the default standard. We thought it was gonna be 12 gigs because we saw 12 gig versions of the iPads with four gigs disabled, but it looks like 16 is gonna be the base thanks to Apple intelligence and pressure from uh, Qualcomm having 16 gigs as base. And that means not only are you getting a much better deal with a lot less bottlenecks that we've seen before, uh, but the base configurations are the ones that actually get the biggest discounts after they come out. We often see these $200 off, $300 off, but because regular stores like Best Buy, Costco, and other people that sell Macs, they don't keep the custom configurations, which 16 gig is a custom. You would have to go to Apple. You'd have to pay that $200 extra and that means you also don't get that $200 discount so often the price difference between 8 and 16 would be $400 or even $500 and that also means people that go in to buy something they're not buying a 16 gig and then they can have some issues with the bottlenecks that we've seen with the M2 and especially the M3 chip so Apple making this upgrade is going to make these computers 
be a lot faster without slowdowns and last for a very long time. So I am really looking forward to this launch. We're looking at end of October, launching the, actually getting the Macs in November, along with some of these iPads. So if you guys are planning to buy one of these new M4 Macs, let me know which Mac computer and which chip you are interested in. So thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and click that circle above to subscribe. Check out one of those great videos right over there. This has been Max, and I'll see you in the next one.